Well, people, back. One more fight for you guys to think about. And as you saw, this fight is brought to you by yours truly, Mom Vernon Kid. Uh, and this fight, guys, I created myself. Just thought about it through my head and decided to put some greats together. Between the main man, Lobo. The last Zarnian himself versus Thanos. How you like that, huh? <laughs> Two parts. Both are indestructible. Both are deadly. Badass. One's an anti hero, the one is just 100% villain. Uh, but I always wanted to put this I always wanted to see these two go at it and you see what goes on in this head people so uh let's start off with the main man Lobo himself now Lobo is uh the last Zarnian the main man you know let me tell you a little bit about Lobo alright Lobo when he was at the age of 17 he created a plague just to kill everyone else on his planet hence that's why he got the name hence why he's the last Zarnian this guy is 100 percent badass bad to the bone uh, he's a bounty hunter uh, he stands the dude stands about seven foot tall uh, and over weighs over a thousand pounds. Um, any guy that can do the Man of Steel, blow for blow, you get an A plus in my book for that, bro. Without any kryptonite, any kind of magic, anything, just straight up gridiron, pure muscle. Nope, you 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 got my you got my you you get an A plus for me. Uh. Lobo actually spent time in heaven and hell and he was spit out of both of them because they didn't want him so they gave him immortality basically saying he's our problem now Lobo has superhuman strength uh, he's surprisingly fast uh, he's tough as hell uh, he, he heals fast so if you uh, manage to hurt him he's gonna heal real fast he uh, is able to survive without in, in, in space excuse me <laughs> without air you know uh, known, he's known for drinking a lot of booze and things like that but just because he can but if he is meant if he is basically guys uh, hacked up into little pieces or so um, and he's just a pool of blood he will generate back from that so basically he lives up to being immor immortal or his healing factor is exponentially strong uh, and that's all I'm going to get into about Lobo because he's just badass and there's not much that you shouldn't know about this guy that I can't tell you but that's Lobo, people. Now, to move on to his uh, opponent. And standing at 6'7", 985 pounds, we have Thanos. The external. The external <laughs> superhuman strength endurance reflexes agility nearly invulnerable able to endure extreme heat cold electricity radiation toxins you know he is immune to aging and disease you know Thanos is badass man badass and I'm glad to see he's back you know because yes he he did die um but he was resurrected back 
Thanos is Thanos is actually the dark side of the Marvel Universe. And that's why it was no surprise to me when we saw those two go at it. Because that's how dangerous he is. Now he's taking it to pretty much any cosmic Marvel hero you can think of. Silver Surfer, Adam Warlock, even the Celestial Gods he's taking it to. Thor he's taking it to. Just look up Infinite, the Inf Infinity Crusades or the Infinite Gauntlet. Things like that. He was a major key player in that. You know, badass. Just, just, you know, this is a guy that literally killed Moonstone, Moon Dragon's parents because he didn't want no witnesses. They didn't do a damn thing to him, but they saw him, so they had to go. And Moon Dragon has made it a quest to find this guy and kill him. Uh, but he is the he is the all powerful Thanos the quintessential cosmic being of the Marvel Universe that you don't want to cross paths with because out of a fight of 50 let's just say that you probably ain't winning shit just put it like that. You probably ain't winning. You ain't gonna win. Because my guess is he is highly intelligent as well as strong. So that's a bad combination. When you're intelligent, you're a good fighter, and you got all the superhuman abilities, that's dangerous in my book. That's just as bad as just being a, a, a big brute. And that's not, that is not what Thanos is. He's not just a big dumb brute. And if you think that way, then you are sadly mistaken, people. Thanos is just dominant. But you put these two together. How's this battle going to pull out? Thanos could rip off, rip off Lobo's arm and it'll grow back. Thanos could vaporate Lobo into... A million pieces and Lobo will generate. And what about Lobo? Lobo could do the same thing to use his chain and hook and stab Thanos. And Thanos might can regenerate and heal from that. But I'm not saying that these guys can't be defeated. Because I just explained. Thanos was defeated once. He was killed by Drax the Destroyer. Put a hole right through him. But he was resurrected. Okay. It, so these guys can be defeated it's just how much punishment these guys can take before one of them just says enough I quit and from my my, my view people my opinion guys this is going to be one hell of a battle that's going to go on and on and on and on and on but you guys tell me what you think about this fight Lobo versus Thanos who will be the victor and who will be the loser but other than that guys this is Mount Vernon Kid saying peace one love stay tuned keep it real